A Celiac New Zealand study in 2021 found gluten-free goods were on average two and a half times more expensive than regular ones, with some products like bread costing five times more. And since then, the cost of food has only risen. Last month, it was 12% higher than May of 2022. So what does your weekly shop look like if you're eating gluten-free? So we're here outside of Countdown where we've just gone for a bit of a shop to see how much you pay for gluten-free goods. Got some Vogel's bread here. It was five bucks for a regular loaf of Vogel's bread, eight bucks for a gluten-free one, and you get less actual bread. And moving on to some pasta. The gluten-free pasta was about $1.50 extra and you only get half as much actual pasta in the packet. So on the whole, most stuff is more expensive if you're buying gluten-free and you don't get as much. Celiac New Zealand treasurer Corinne Cameron says she could shave at least $50 off the weekly shop if her daughter wasn't celiac. Subsidies for gluten-free food are available, but they're means tested based on income. So Mrs Cameron says their members often have to make savings elsewhere in their budget to afford the extra cost. We're hearing that it's expensive and that it would be great if there was cheaper options. Um, over the last sort of 10, 20 years, there's been a great increase in range that is available, which is amazing, um, but it, it comes with a price. And she says with the rising cost of fresh produce, it's a double whammy for those with celiac disease. Everything's gone up at least a couple of dollars, and when you're already paying $8 when someone who is not gluten-free was paying two, and you're paying a few dollars more, it's, yeah, it makes it very expensive. Mrs Cameron says having a child who's celiac has made it difficult for their family to eat out without planning in advance. Somewhere that aims to make that easier is the GF Depot in Auckland's Meadowbank. Owner and chef Vivi Chiong says running a completely gluten-free restaurant means having to use expensive ingredients. It's tough, but we try to um, save other areas, which is like maybe pick a cheaper location like this area. Mrs Chiong says new customers are sceptical at first, but pleasantly surprised once they realise it's the real deal. They find out well, everything's going free and they follow, wow, we saw like tears and came out and yeah, when they, when they saw our cabinet. She says there's a growing demand for gluten-free food and people travel from as far as Tauranga to try their restaurant. 